is part two of CPT and SMA. We're just going to take kick off where I ended on the last one. And so we were talking about the face mask and the role that even gravity plays in the face sinking to the floor. Like, yes, the mask is not allowing the face to grow, but at the same time, the, the face is being pulled down uh, by gravity because it can't move through gravity, it can't oppose gravity. And that's what movement lesson teaches, is it teaches the body how to oppose gravity and to move through it. And so that's really what I've done different with my daughter than everyone else is uh, I've taught her progressive milestones using rotational movements and, you, and teaching her body how to oppose gravity, how to move through gravity, where as with your traditional therapies and really any other uh, alternative therapy, they are, uh, they're, they're showing alternative milestones, you know, like with a standard, you're, you're standing, but you're truly not standing in a way that creates progression in the body, pro creates progression in movement and, and puts the body in a place where it can have independence movement while it's you know I mean it's a great thing that, that our kids can be upright and standing uh, at the same time it's not doing as much good as we hope that it's doing and so movement lesson just gives that added uh, added measure of progression in the milestones and movements that you're working on with your child and you know with my daughter we do have a lot of alternative ways that we work on her milestone, but she has a baseline of all the progressive milestones in her system, all of those gravity milestones in her system, and then we're working on alternatives that she can still function with and move in and out of. That's one of the, that's one of the big key indicators of a progressive milestone is that it's, for one, done with rotational movements, but for two, a, a child can get in and out of a position on their own, even a person. You know, for me, rolling over is really difficult because I have bad hips. And uh, so I'm losing that that milestone of rolling over. It's really hard to roll over in bed. I have to sit up, adjust myself, and then lay down on the other side. I can't as well just roll from one side uh, to the other. My my rotational movements have been compromised due to uh, the bad hip structure. And so, you know, our milestones are with us all throughout our lives. And so, as children, that's where we really get those those foundations of those milestones uh, started. And so, movement lesson allows, allows you to put those movements into a child when they can't create them uh, on their own. And as a result, your child is able to manifest independence in movement. Anything that they're capable of, they're able to start manifesting that. You can see that she doesn't like this as much. But you gotta do it. She also has a, a I think it's called a hemangioma, a birthmark on here that is quite irritating to her. It's a little bit painful to, to do the pounding on her when she was, uh, when we were doing that, that last uh, extubation, she had to, the protocol for the SMA was to do it every two hours. And the respiratory therapist that we had was absolutely amazing. And he put in overtime to really help her with that, that critical time in, it, in extubation. And so he came in and would literally work on her for an hour and a half and just take out gobs and gobs and gobs of mucus. He'd be gone for a half hour and then he'd come back and work on her for an hour and a half because there was just that much mucus in her lungs and he had to get it out or she was gonna die. Like, we really had no other option. Yeah. He later told us, he said, oh, you know, we're doing that for, uh, what, 17 hours straight because he did a shift and a half he couldn't even like he could barely even shift uh, shift his truck in the gear uh, just from doing the CPT so much and so we were truly really appreciative of him you know he was he was one of the big
big reasons. His name is Gabriel. I don't even know his last name, but he's one of the big reasons why Julia survived as well. Because even with rotation, if I've got too much mucus in there, like the, 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 the child's still going to die. So there's a bunch of attributing factors to her survival, um, which is also why I emphasize that if you're in the hospital with your child and your respiratory therapist is going like this or is shortcutting the treatment and only does it for 20 minutes or they want to do the vest instead of doing it manually. Um, um, you know, it could make all the difference in your child's survival and progression, at least it did for months. So that's why I'm very particular about how her CPT is done. There are, there 
are preventative things that you can do to hopefully not get to that point. And, and your respiratory care plays a huge, huge, huge role in that.
so the other side is a little bit harder to do the back just because I don't have as much available to it because the spine's crowding it, but you just do the best that you can. And then something really important that I'll do, I don't necessarily do it after every, uh, after every treatment, after every respiratory treatment, uh, unless she's really, really bad, then I will. But I go in after I do all this, uh, I go back in and I do some movement lesson, teaching her body how to move again with rotational movements, especially the breathing, okay? When, when the body can't breathe, you lose all milestones, and I want her to retain all the milestones that we've worked on, especially the progressive milestones, which is the, the rotational movements, the, tran the weight transfer, and then those allow her to have the transitional movements to go in and out of in and out of positions, in and out of milestones, so that she's having progression in movement. Justin, can he go out there? My husband brought him back in for some reason. I don't know what he's doing out there with my brother, so sorry again that he's coming.
So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks.